They may not yet be as common as phones or cars, but remote-controlled drones are definitely a force to be reckoned with. At the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, the drone zone had doubled this year. The big talk was the model launched by GoPro, which needs to move fast to get ahead of arch-rival DJI, the top-selling manufacturer. It unveiled updates to two of its models, including a thermal imaging camera with applications that include search and rescue and firefighting. It's a thermal camera that will allow people to do all sorts of great applications, industrial inspection, agriculture, and most important to me, I think, is the life-saving potential. Going out there, flying and finding missing people even at night, uh, they, you know, the, the heat sensors just allow people to light up. So if you're in, uh, in an avalanche or you're in a forest, uh, it could take hours or days to find someone who's missing, but using our XT thermal camera, we can find you within minutes. Meet Lily. Its makers describe it less as a drone and more as a flying camera. Claimed to be the world's first throw-and-shoot camera, it's built for thrill-seekers to capture aerial photos and videos of runs, jumps, twists and dives. You have it in your backpack, you have the tracking device on your wrist. As soon as you're ready to do something cool, let's say you want to take a jump, you take out Lily, throw it in the air, take your jump, and land it right away. You've spent 30 seconds of flight time and you have a cool 30 seconds video. Lily can also do cool things like know when you're in the air and do automatic slow-mo of the video. Um, so it's, Lily is a new way of capturing content where you will know you want to do something, throw it in the air, and be able to be in the moment right away. Chinese drone makers Walkera showed off their hair-raising racing drone, the Runner 250. Claiming speeds of up to 40 km per hour and a range of 1 km, the quadcopter is built with racing fans in mind. And it can also be hooked up to a virtual reality headset so users can get a real pilot's view of the action. Drone racing, basically, you fly a quadcopter of different sizes, different classes, you fly through final gates, you do hairpin turns, and you do it at real high speed. And uh, basically, the person that could fly the fastest without hitting any obstacles, it's the, the, basically the champion of the race. With growing safety concerns over all these drones buzzing over our heads in the future, Belgian drone maker Fly presented this spherical UAV described as a personal flying robot. It's claimed to be the world's safest drone as its design means the rotor is shielded and hidden within the body of the craft. Looking at a more in a niche market where the drone is going to be closer to people, close to environments, so it's used well like indoor, uh, close to expensive equipment or buildings, but then it's just a drone, so people are going to use it to take awesome aerial photos and videos in places where they cannot easily go by themselves. Sales of commercial drones are set to soar over the coming decade, driven by applications such as filmmaking, mapping, prospecting and disaster relief. But the industry does face significant challenges, especially with regards to regulatory policy, safety and privacy.